So you know you need wire mesh for your operation, but you're not exactly sure what specs you need to get the right results? Well, in this video, we'll take an in-depth look at mesh specifications so you know how to choose the right woven wire mesh for you. Stick around. Hi, my name's Eric Himes and I'm the sales manager for Industrial Woven Wire here at WS Tyler. And I'm here to ask you the question, how do I find the mesh specification that works best for my process? With 150 years of woven wire experience, WS Tyler is here to help. We understand that there's three factors that come into play when finding the best option. These factors are mesh count, wire diameter, and micron rating. In this video, we'll be defining each factor explaining why you should understand the specifications for your operation and the possible risks you face if you don't take any one into consideration. Wire mesh is generally described by its mesh count. The mesh count is the number of openings in a linear inch. When you hear terms like 1600 or 300, this is referring to the amount of openings per inch. So if you have a hundred mesh weave, that means an inch contains 100 openings in any given direction. This also means a 100 mesh weave is much finer than a 16 mesh weave. The uses for woven wire is basically endless. For example, when oil rigs pull raw oil from the ocean floor, they use mesh to filter out any unwanted sand and debris. Another popular use is the transferring of ink onto a substrate when screen printing. So these are two completely different applications, but they both rely on the openings of the weave. So if you're dealing with mesh count, that means you're dealing with how many openings you'll have in the weave. So knowing what mesh count you need will ensure you have control over what's passing through. So if you're working in the oil industry and you're looking to filter sand out of the oil, you need to use a mesh count that will block out sand particles while allowing the oil to flow through at an efficient rate. This will probably be around 100 or below, depending on the size of the particles being filtered out. But what happens when you choose the wrong mesh count? If the mesh count is too large, you'll end up having stuff other than the oil pass through. And if the mesh count is too small, then you'll end up slowing or even completely stopping the oil from passing through your mesh. Wire diameter refers to the width of the individual wires. The diameter of the wires determine how much open space there is between the wires and plays an important role in the strength of the weave. For example, it's pretty common to think if a roll is 16 mesh, then the size of its pores is 1 16th of an inch. But it's not the case as the wires fill a portion of the opening, which directly affects the pore size. So what's happening if the wires in the weave are thicker? there will be a smaller amount of space between the wires. However, the weave will be stronger and will be able to endure harsher conditions. Now, if the wires in the weave are thinner, then there will be a larger amount of space between the wires. However, the weave will be weaker and the weave will be prone to wear. There's so many applications that subject the mesh to harsh conditions and if you're gonna be putting your mesh through high temperatures or filtering out coarse material, then you're going to want the strongest weave possible. And knowing the wire diameter will mean you can determine the right specifications, which will result in allowing you to get the results you want and preserving the lifespan of your mesh. But I should definitely say you don't want a wire that's too thick. Let's say if you're working with coarse aggregates, if you use a wire diameter, that's too thin, you run the risk of destroying your mesh, putting your other equipment at risk. Now, let's say you switch gears and begin working with fine sand. Using a wire diameter that's too thick may make the openings too small and directly affect the micron rating. The micron rating is most easily explained as the exact distance between the wires in the weave. In other words, the micron rating is the negative space in between the wires. To give you some perspective, one micron is one one thousandth of a millimeter. One of the more popular applications woven wire is used for is filtration. Whether you're filtering out sand during the fracking process or debris when recycling plastic, 
you need to be aware of two things, the opening count and opening size. Once you know both, you can then pinpoint what micron rating you need. So knowing the proper micron rating will mean you have more control over the flow rate of what's being filtered, but failure to use the correct micron rating can lead to blinding, which occurs when particles get stuck in the weave openings and hinder the flow rate. All this really depends on what you're filtering and the amount of waste buildup the mesh will be subject to. So to sum it up, using the correct micron rating will ensure impurities get filtered out of the desired final product while maintaining a sufficient flow. This will promote an operation that is both energy efficient and cost effective. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to help make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be an expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Eric Himes and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.